I was uh, 72 years old when I came to this training to almost two years ago. And so I've had a lifetime of really, really believing in what we call rarefied, in my points of view. And, uh, um, and you know, I wanted a different way of living. Uh, I spent 30 some years uh, smoking pot on an almost daily basis as a way to escape the nonsense that was going on in my head. Um, I did yoga, you know, workshops, and, um, and got some temporary relief at times. Um, and then there I was, right back at the beginning <laughs> of being caught up in, in all my thoughts, emotions, and sensations. Um, I came to the, <clears throat> excuse me, I came specifically here to Arm Bowl, uh last uh, January of 2010 to take the 12 empowerments uh, because I saw such a marvelous change in a friend and uh, I asked this friend what, what, what to do, you know, how can I get what you have and go to, go to uh, Goa, he said, and, and do the 12 uh, empowerments. And so I wanted what he had, and I came, and I, I, as soon as I was finished with that, I knew that I had found what I'd been looking for all my life. Um, the search was over for me. I mean, it was just totally clear that, that uh, if I committed to um, this program, to this teaching, um, and made myself as available as possible that that I would achieve um, well-being um, beyond my wildest dreams. And today I can say that that has come about uh, uh, to some degree. To a, <laughs> I just had no idea that I could feel um, as good as about myself and about other people as I do today. Um, and it keeps getting better as, you know, I've heard that when I first came here, oh, it keeps getting better. And, and um, um, you know, a few months, six months ago, I said, oh, I can't get any better. This is great. And it does get better. It's um, just a never ending evolution of more stability, um, more mental and emotional stability, and um, an inner peace that I didn't think was possible. Um, I, I would, I'm, I've been fortunate in that I have the financial means and no obligation. And uh, so I was able to just 100% jump in. I've, I, uh, after the 12 empowerments two years ago, I went to Bogsu, then I went to Sweden and back here and to Sweden again this past summer. And so I've spent a lot of time with community and I've had a lot of opportunity um, to be uh, um, a volunteer, to be of service. And it's, that in itself has been an incredible experience for me to be able to I re didn't realize how important it is for my own well-being to be able to contribute to the welfare of other people and to, this, to the organization, to making things work. And it turns, I, I, another thing I never thought about was, was my particular uh, gift, strengths, and talents. And um, uh, I've become aware of some of them and, and I see that they are of value. To um, to others and and uh, yeah and it's so nice to be able to share them. Um, the four mainstays. So I've been I've been hanging out in community. That's 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 an easy thing and and the support and the love that that's happening within the community is just incredible. Um, the teachings, I, every teaching that comes in my, that gets in my face, I take it, and uh, um, yeah, I, I just, you know, <laughs> it's the same message over and over again, and it just seems fresh and new almost every time, and uh, um, yeah, and it gives me, um, 
well, a guideline or a, a signpost of knowing, okay, well, now I'm experiencing that. You know, like maybe six months ago, it seemed like a goobly gop, like I don't know what they're talking about. And now that particular thing is, is in my experience. Um, let me see, what am I, oh, the trainer, yes, okay. Well, I had some resistance with that at first. <laughs> um, and uh, that, that has changed, you know, I've, I've come to see that uh, just, well, for instance, recently I've, uh, let me see, let me back up a little bit more. Things have fallen away without any conscious effort on my part. Uh, uh, as uh, the community, the trainees, and, and taking short moments, um, in doing those, those practices, I've, uh, um, ways of being, ways of thinking have dropped away without any conscious effort. Well, now I've come to a point that I really have to get off the pot and start doing some things. And, and uh, one of the, um, well, there's a few things. There's, uh, um, I, as a cover <laughs> to um, whatever, I've, I've, I've used anger and sarcasm and uh, um, what are there, some other things, oh, yeah. and other kinds of negativity that that in some settings seem humorous but that's this kind of I've had this way of being all my life and and it's just recently that I've discovered that that has to has to is a cover for me not to be vulnerable not to feel vulnerable and and now it's come to an acute point where I've got you know it's time to change I'm not going to move further without it allowing myself to be vulnerable to all that's going on. A vulnerable to giving and receiving love. I thought I was doing that already, but I can see that, you know, I still, when, when someone expresses love to me, I still have a way of pushing it off a little bit by making, you know, some, um, what I think is a funny remark, and, and it's just a way of pushing people away. Um, so and then I what I know is from my experience up to this point is I will work through this I will get through this with the help of my trainer in the community the trainings and short moments and uh, that that assurance of knowing um, that that uh, that the solution will come uh, if by just persisting yeah yeah, so I'm glad to be here. I'm glad all of you are here. And thank you very much.